one of the more challenging levels in the new map set for Spear Resurrection. And this level is called the Colosseum. Of course, it's a pun on the Colosseum. Um, and called the Column Seam because of the sheer freaking number of columns I put in the level. Um, as I've explained earlier, the SDL engine enabled us to put a lot more objects that can be displayed on screen at once. Uh, so instead of having like a maximum of 40 or 50 objects on screen at once, we could have over 100 more. And so I decided to make a bit of a novelty level, a, novel, um, a level that is you know, marked out with corridors that are made up of columns not with walls and of course that means you can in effect see through the walls because the walls are columns I used columns because it seemed to me stupid as I've said in the previous walkthrough that um, barrels and tables and things I mean really you, know, you could be able to pick those things up and toss them aside a column seems a lot more of an impenetrable barrier and I deliberately used the darker columns because that way the player um, anyone who's played Spear Resurrection would know that only the white columns, certain white columns, can be broken. None of the dark columns can be broken, so that would let the player know that the only way you're going to get through this maze is by navigating the corridors. And of course it makes it very hard to see the enemies. The columns are all in the way. You've got to peep between the gaps. It is a challenge for that reason, I admit. Um, maybe I should have used it as a secret level for that reason, but anyway... Um, it became a standard level. I made this level while I was in Melbourne, visiting Melbourne last year. Went over there for a few weeks and um, caught up with Dean Horton on the Wolfenstein scene as well. He and I went to a football match, um, Australian Rules Football. We saw our favourite team Essendon play and that's the basis of my secret level for the old Wolfendoom mod I made. Um, I based that secret level in Wolfendoom completely on Essendon Football Club graphics and uh, anyone who doesn't understand Aussie rules will know about it um, yeah they would have been a bit puzzled by that level but I, I never intended it for a wide release back when I made that in the 90s um, but anyway Dean's a hell of a, a top guy um, and yeah he and uh, my kids were with me as well went to the football and yeah my, our team lost but what the heck um, it was great fun um, because in South Africa here they they don't really understand Australian rules footy that much, and I reckon it's the best game in the world, but I'm talking too much. Let's get into the game. First of all, we start off here, and there's the exit, but we don't have the elevator key, so we can't go too far. And to get the elevator key, we're going to have to go through a maze of columns out here. It's a pain, I admit. Um, there is a secret stash of ammunition behind this picture here, and generally in this level, portraits of der Führer, indicate a push wall. Um, a meal here indicates that there's probably health items stashed in behind it, which, which we'll have a look at in a sec. But look, I've got 145 ammo, 106 MCS ammo, I've got MCS weapons, I've got 100% health. Um, is it fair? I'm playing on the hardest skill level. Um, let's start with just a pistol. Let's get myself killed. Hey, here we go. Yeah, run around. Bang, 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 I'm dead. Okay. We're going to start with just a pistol. Can it be done? Okay, I'd like to try and make my levels possible. That didn't say, or doesn't mean to say I like to make them overly easy. I like to make them a challenge. But if it's impossible, it's, it's pointless, if you ask me. So let's see if it is indeed possible. Okay. Let's pick off some guards. Okay, that's one pest gone. Let's wait back here. I know there's an SS out there in the distance. I'm not going to worry about him at the moment. I've got 90 ammo. I haven't got an MCS weapon starting this way. I'm going to play a bit of a stealthy fashion. Um, it may make this video a bit longer. My apologies. But I just want to see if it can be done this way. Another SS has seen us. There's going to be more guards, I think. I wasted a shot then. Where are you? Draw them out. Let them come to me if possible. Is there anyone coming? Yes. I saw a guard coming there, coming towards me. That's good. Great. That's one down. I suppose I could use the knife here. I could wait in this elevator here. And use my knife on the guards. In fact, why not? 
but if you're getting peppered from the side there, it's not a good idea. And you're wasting your health. 5% health, that's not what I had in mind. So I'm going to grab up this health now. Okay. Now what's happened here is that there are a number of guards within the column C when you first start playing. And over to that western side of the level, I'll call it, there's a big open passageway with some guards that were patrolling. But one of these guys in the column seam has opened up the door to that passageway. And the shots I've been firing have activated those guards that were on patrol over there. And they've come running into the column seam as a result. I suppose in a way that's good. It means we've got less guys to worry about. That bloody SS is up there and is of concern to me, but I'll get him in a sec. Um, over this way, of course, there's another SS. There's another guard just around the corner. There's another big wide open passageway over in the distance over that way. It's being patrolled by enemies. So sometimes they get drawn into the column seam too, depending on what doors get opened by the enemy as they're running around. So this level does tend to play a bit differently each time you play it. And I do like that. But anyway, there are certain principles you've got to follow. Um, this SS, for example, get rid of the butter. It's a bloody pest. Get out of here. Don't hang around in that bloody column sand because it is a dangerous area. We will thin out the numbers a bit later. First of all, let's worry about ammunition and health. Now, around here there's an SS. You can see he's just in there guarding that storeroom. I like to have some storerooms and some levels. I mean, it seems silly to me just having a crate of ammo conveniently sitting in the middle of a big open passageway. So, yeah, a storeroom with health and, and ammunition items. Being guarded, of course, it seems to make more sense to me. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay. And, of course, he's got some mates in here looking after the ammunition as well. You can see he's back there. Give him a bit of a tap. Oh, excuse me. Another guy in here. Okay, great. Now we can stock up with ammunition. As I say, we've got to be very careful with... There's a pest. Okay. I think we've cleared this area. Good. We need that health. Okay. Now to conserve ammo, I know there's an SS in here. Let's get rid of him this way. The rest of the coast seems to be clear. Come on, how many nice stabs does it take? Rightio. And we've got some much needed health there, but no other ammunition around. We will have to be careful with our ammo. Okay. Now, skull on the ground, yeah, it could be the boxes here. It could have been that MCS clip that was over there before. But this skull indicates a push wall. And that push wall will open into an area with the crown there. So, um, yeah, there are four corners in the column seam like that, each with a crown in them, and each can only be accessed via a push wall like this. Um, each leads into a metallic top of treasure room like this. I like to use the metal walls in, in treasure rooms. Uh, it makes it a bit more of a, a vault. There's a suicide clone, get rid of him. There are some guards in here. Let's use the knife conserve ammo. Now, these guys won't come out so, so readily kind of forces the player to have to stick their head in a bit. And the reason they won't come out so readily is because there's a number of lamps there which are blocking their, their, their pathway. Um, however, stick your head out a bit. That guy's shooting me around a bloody corner. Pest. What a cheat. I couldn't even see him when he was getting some shots in at me. Anyway, he paid the ultimate price. Um, there's another guy just here. Let's get him. Okay, I'm trying to conserve ammo for obvious reasons, because I started with only a pistol. Now just in here, grab his clip and grab that crown, get the hell out of there. As I say, the less time I spend in that column area, the better. Okay, now. Nah, not going to go out there yet. I'll grab another health kit. Or health kit, I should say. Now there is some ammo there, but I'm going to have to copper a bit of barrel sludge to get those clips or those crates. Um, is it worth it? Ooh, no, no, I'll come back with that ammo later if I really need it. I've got 106, it should be enough for the moment. Those guys are pests. Um, if you try and get over, you can see the blood keys there. Um, if you stick your head in too close to that corner, just there, 
those clones will detonate through the columns and, and cause you a lot of damage. So it is an idea just to pick those clones off, get rid of them. They should have blown each other up, they have good. Didn't take much ammo to do so. There are other guards in here beyond the wall. We've got to run through here, run through here, up here, up here, down here. Um, I'm going to take really, get rid of you, you pest, because you're nice and close. Okay, but no, I'm not going to hang around. I'll grab that ammo crate. There's another guy in there. I'll get rid of him. Where is he? We blew the barrel up. That's good. Let's get out of here. Okay. Another pest. And there'll be another guard in here. You back it in. I think he went in there. Huh? Oh, no. There's one there. Wall. Okay. Radio. All right. Gradually, I'm making my way around the western side of the level, as I call it. And that's the western side of the level along here. On the very far eastern side of the level, is, it's mirror, a mirror reflection of all this area. My symmetry once again. And instead of a blood key over that side, there's a, a gold key. We'll eventually work our way around to that, but um, for the moment, I'm, I'm wanting to work my way around that western side of the level up into the northern side of the level because in the northern side of the level there is a room that is full of clones and when I go in to get the gold key I'll be shooting up some officers and the floor coating there is the same as the room up the north with the clones which in other words activates the clones and they'll come pouring into the column soon and once they're into that area it's, it's, it's bloody difficult to deal with them and other enemies will start pouring in there too so I'm playing in a specific way to try and minimize the number of enemies I get into that column area um, yeah okay let's first of all I think um, we'll, we'll get the blood key look there is another spare blood key on the other side of the level you get there via a teleporter but once again if you go that way um, you will be activating those clones I was mentioning, uh, uh, talking about before. I think this is the better way to go. Get the blood key on this side. The other blood key is also to stop, stop the player getting stuck in an area. It's just a spare key. Um, you don't even need to get the blood key on this side if you go for that other blood key. But anyway, I'm talking too much. There's officers in here and quite a few of them. I'll draw them out. Grab his clip. Once again, I want to get them at close range to minimise the ammo that I use. So, yeah, I am playing a bit of a stealth game, I admit. Um, I'm not just going in there and blasting them. The other good thing about drawing them out too is I know there's a first aid kit in there, and the enemies have been programmed to pick up the health items if they've been shot. So if you've taken some of their health off, they will pick up whatever health items they run over depriving you of them. So it's best not to shoot them inside that room there because they'll grab that ammo pack or that, um, that health kit there. And I want that health kit for myself. Okay. Oh, right there in my face. Okay. I think there might be one more. If there is, he's gone through that doorway there. See, see they, if, they, if I'd shot them in here, they'd be running around, they'd probably grab that health kit up. I, I wanted that to boost my own health. Yeah, there is one in there. Okay. Great. Now we can grab the blood key. You can see there's more enemies over there. I'll get that guard. Great. Okay, that's one less to worry about a bit later. If he'd been a bit further away, I wouldn't have worried because um, the further away they are, the more ammo you need to bring them down, of course. Okay. An ammo crate here. Good. Another health kit there, more ammo. Okay, now there is a push wall here. This is a dangerous area to go into. Um, there's a lot of clones in behind here. Um, let's get it over and done with. Once again, the portrait of Der Führer marks the push wall. Um, it's 